Greetings, YouTube community, sports fans nationwide. You've entered the Sports Opinion Log here on Lex Anderson World. I'm your host, slash your boy, Lex Anderson. And what did I just see? Kawhi Leonard, game winning, game seven, series clinching, buzzer beater. Are you really serious? Yes, I am serious. Final score, Raptors 92, 76ers 90. So... If you like NBA action, NBA playoffs, NBA sports talk, just do the right thing. Subscribe to this channel right now and press that bell icon to your right to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Now, on to this video, which I choose to go with the Allen Iverson throwback 76ers jersey, being the sports fashion icon that I am. And you know what Joel Embiid is? He's a big ass bitch. How are you crying in the arms of... On the shoulder of your opponent, your enemy, Marcus Saul, are you really serious, Joel Embiid? Really? Big ass bitch. You should be crying on a teammate, not the opponent. All that Twitter talk, all that Instagram trash, all his post game bullshit, and he's crying in the arms of Marcus Saul? Oh, give me a break. Give me a goddamn break. Unbelievable. So sensitive. Oh, what a shot, though. What a shot. Ida Prophet had said Sixers and Six, but I had listed the keys to the series, and they came true like the Ida Prophet had decreed. Ben Simmons, uh, horrible point guard. Can't take, doesn't make or shoot three-pointers, and clearly doesn't know how to run the offense. And Embiid should be crying, because in the last three to four minutes, the Sixers only had one field goal. And why did they have only one field goal? Because Embiid's big dumb ass is standing over the three-point line. Why are you not in the paint? Why are you not doing damage? And also the Sixers with their bench. Nine points. Sergi Baca, 17 points off the bench. And how about Sergi Baca's performance? But of course, it's all about Kawhi Leonard, who nailed one of the as much as I can't stand Kawhi Leonard, I got to give credit where credit is due. And he hit one of the most dramatic, series-clinching, game-winning, game-seven-winning, excuse me, shots I've seen in recent memory. He takes it up, shoots it falling away, and not once, not twice, not even three times, but four goddamn times. The ball's bouncing around the rim, and then it just drops in. And that's it. The series is over. And Embiid immediately breaks down into tears like a big-ass bitch. Unbelievable. Lowry had ran to the tunnel. I thought he would be done, but he came back. They toughed it out. So now we get the Milwaukee Bucks and Greek Freak, the, so the soon-to-be or so-called MVP of this season taking on Kawhi Leonard, the one-year rental. I'm still going to stick with my guns. It ain't going to stop. Kawhi Leonard is a one-year rental, but look at the ride he's taking the Toronto Raptors on. The fans outside, they're keeping it real out there in Toronto, but does Kawhi Leonard have enough for the Raptors to get past Greek Freak and the Bucks? Woo! Man, oh man. Well, I said Bucks over the Celtics. Got that. I said Sixers, Allen Iverson jersey. Sixers over the Raptors. So I got to keep it straight. I got to keep it going. I don't change horses in mid-race unless something crazy happens. Look for the Bucks. Well, excuse me. I, the prophet, decree that the Bucks will eliminate the Toronto Raptors in six games. There you have it. If there's a seventh, it's just bonus basketball as far as I can see. But shame on you, Ben Simmons. Shame on the 76ers offense not being able to do anything in the integral crunch time. The part where, again, all-stars become superstars, where legends can be made. Bright lights of the playoffs were on. And what? will you be remembered for? Ben Simmons will be remembered as some a point guard who can't damn shoot, doesn't take, doesn't make threes, but his big doofus, big-ass bitch point guard, Embiid wants to hang around the three-point arc, and then he's mad clumsy and slow-footed, turning it over, 
and then want to cry on the shoulders of his opponent at the end like a big-ass bitch. Damn, that's what those two clowns are going to be remembered for. Tobias Harris, the fake all-star coming from the Phoenix Suns, showed me nothing. Jimmy Buckets, Jimmy Butler, I knew ye not. <laughs> Look at all those four guys. Max contracts? <laughs> if I was the Sixers, start the process over again. Let everybody go. Go your own separate ways. It was a fail. It was an epic fail. It was a historical fail. A fail that potentially has truly closed the window on this sad, long out, jump the shark saga known as the process. They're done for. It's over. Maybe Ben Simmons, now that Magic Johnson has left the Lakers, maybe you should seek him out. Learn to better your game, brother, because this definitely isn't championship point guard NBA playoff basketball. But here, NBA playoff basketball, Lex Anderson Sports Opinion Log, is the place to be. Pop in my collar because I'm signing out. Special shout out IGTV viewers. I see you. Much love.